Hi, this is Jamie Pate and welcome to another video, quick technique trick here today. I'm here for scrapbook.com and demonstrating the new Christmas release for Tim Holtz and Ranger. In this video, I'm going to basically demonstrate just one way you can use the new Distress Glitter. This one is Distress Glitter Tinsel. The other color that comes in a pack with this is the Garland. I'm gonna play with the tinsel color. It's a beautiful hue. It's kind of hard to see here, but it has, you can compare it to the more gold in the Garland. It has just a bit of a silver slash kind of a rose hue to it. It's gorgeous. This is what I wanna do. I have pre-die cut a Memory Dex card out of Distress Heavy Stock. I'm laying it here on the scrapbook.com silicone mat. Great for any sort of mixed media techniques, cleans up beautifully. I have here one of the six by eight stencils from scrapbook.com. This one is the Mod Asterisk. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take Smart Glue, I'm gonna use it as a mixative for the glitter. There are lots of different mediums you could use for this technique. I happen to have a smart glue on hand and thought, hey, let's give it a try and see what the results are like. So I'm just going to carefully open up the Distress Glitter. I'm gonna use my palette knife, pour some of the glitter just right on top of the glue. Probably gonna use a little bit more. It doesn't really take much. Then I'm gonna mix up the glue and the glitter and just use that as a medium right on top of the six by eight stencil, just covering up the parts that are over the Memory Dex card. And so at first it appears like this isn't gonna do much at all, but I've already played with this idea and it is pretty awesome how great not only the glitter will shine through the smart glue because the smart glue will dry completely transparent but then you're going to have this great texture too i'm going to mix up a little bit more of the glue here with the remaining glitter to finish up the rest of those places and then what you're going to want to do is make sure this dries very well and you'll know if it's dry or not you can see here how we have a fun pattern on the front of this memory dex card and now we just need to let it dry really, really well. When the glue has dry, you are left with this beautiful garland glitter background. Has a little bit of texture from the stencil. Just makes for a stunning, gorgeous card background. Whether you use it for a tag, a regular card, or a memory dex card. Okay, now to get these distress items, you are going to want to get to scrapbook.com as soon as possible because when they're gone, they're gone. I'm super excited about this next technique that I have for you. This time I am taking the Snowflake 6x8 stencil from scrapbook.com. I have already cut out using a memory dex die, a piece of acetate. You can see there it's the shape of the Memory Dex tabbed card. I'm gonna lay this down on my silicone mat here. I'm going to lay the stencil here on top of the die cut acetate. It's a little tricky to see exactly where the die cut is underneath. I'm gonna go ahead and use strips of the magic tape to kind of cover up here where I can tell where this finishes, where it starts. Just want to give myself a little bit of a guide. Oh, we should talk about, I'm gonna sneak under here and see where, about right here. We should talk about what it is I'm going to use on the stencil. Well, brand new Distress Grit Paste called Snowfall. It is a really funky grit paste. It is what it says. It has a grit to it. It's white like snow. And I thought it would be cool to put it through this snowflake stencil and see what kind of background we come up with. Now, while the grit paste is just that, a little gritty, 
It's kind of a little tricky to put it through the smaller lines of the stencil, but it's not impossible. Just want to kind of take your time, gently go over the openings. Don't push the grit paste through and then kind of make sure you don't have too many divots and it's as smooth as application as you possibly can have. When that's all done, carefully lift the stencil from the acetate. You're gonna to wanna to clean that stencil pretty soon after removing it from the acetate. And at this point, we have sort of an opaque, beautiful snowflake background. But look what happens when it dries. This is what the snowfall grit paste looks like on the acetate before when I first applied it through the stencil, it had a bit of an opaque finish to it. As it's dried, it absolutely looks like I have added just some sort of layer of frost to this little acetate sheet. And this is what I did to finish it off. I added some stamped sentiments and some sequins Gonna sort of kind of sit it inside my memory deck spinner against this pink so you can see the beautiful frosty snowflake that was made from this grit paste snowfall. I'm going to demonstrate just one way I am using the new Distress Mica Stain. This one is called Snow Flurries. This other one is called Frosted Juniper. Beautiful hues of beet blue. And uh, this one's more of a green with the, just as it says, it's this frosted sort of green color going on. I want to create a background so I can then make some die cut embellishments from that background. So this is going to be as easy as just spraying the Distress Mica stain on my background. And drying in between. Adding in some frosted juniper, not a lot, because I want my primary color to be this blue, because I'm going to be using snowflakes on here. And what I'm gonna come in and do with my paper towel is actually kind of move the juniper around a little bit. And it's gonna sort of kind of give the smooth, uh, instead of the splattered look, and I'm okay with that. And I actually really like how that is already working out. I still have, you can see some of the shimmer there, which is the mica, which is why it's called the Stress Mica Stain. There is a beautiful shimmer, even though I've kind of gone around and smushed out some of the spots versus leaving the color in a more of a spray fashion. So I'm gonna repeat this process again here, adding some more blue in some of these places, kind of smashing them out. Just kind of going for something that is going to tell me, oh, you've got some great blues going on there for your snowflakes. The result is basically a sheen cardstock. Because I'm using primarily the Distress Mica Stain instead of any other colors, it's just almost making and creating a sort of metallic paper. So after I'm happy with my background, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the mini paper snowflakes by Sizzix and Tim Holtz. You can use any kind of dye that you prefer. And taking this background, I'm going to cut out these snowflakes. These are so beautiful. I wish the camera would do them justice. I hope you can see the sheen and the shine and the depth of metallic that are on these snowflakes. And let me show you what you can do next. Take all the snowflake die cuts, add them to a memory decks card, to a greeting card, or to a tag. Pop up a sentiment, and just a beautiful way to use the Distress Mica stains. Okay, now to get these Distress items, you are going to want to get to scrapbook.com as soon as possible because when they're gone, they're gone. To get these new limited time items, please visit the link in our description at scrapbook.com.